himself. How's it hanging, Babs? Got a little problemo for you. See those two guards over there? I know. Shocking. How you gonna save them? both gonna die in there. You're safe now. You going after that crazy witch? I saw her heading out of the door as we got out of the room. She won't get away. I'll stop her and then her boyfriend. Good. Listen, I'll go try and get the ventilation system working. If you find her, don't go easy on her. For me. You're expecting to graduation? Don't worry, dying did you see him back there? What was that thing he used? No idea. He saved our lives. <sighs> That's all I don't know. What's happening in this place?
change of plans, kiddo. But I tried my best. Sorry, but there is no prize for second place. I'm afraid you're off the party list. Better luck next time. <laughs> Why the smiles next to certain names? You're the detective, you tell me! Harley's been everywhere on the island, so I'm calibrating the scanner to only show prints that have traces of chlorophyll. Okay, listen. Be careful. I rerouted a Wayne Tech satellite to show thermal scans of the island. The gardens are showing up hot. Something bad is happening there. Victor has been in isolation since the attack on Zagar last week. As I wait for him to be brought up to me, I have had time to review his notes. I am increasingly worried he cannot be cured. He has no empathy for his victims. Deep down, I believe he views all of us as potential victims. Doc, are you okay? What's happening? It's Zaz. He broke out of isolation. He's gone. Oh, God! Don't worry, Doc. You're the safest place. He's definitely left the island. Of course. But someone needs to alert the authorities. He'll need to kill again. Do you understand me? Needs to. Oh, no. He's gone after Dr. Cassidy. The Gotham police dragged a new patient to the island. They said he was responsible for the disappearance 
of hundreds of the city's vagrants. As I looked at his disgusting body, all scales and teeth, my mind ran free, dreaming of delicious punishments to break this monster. Doctors gathered around, poking it, examining, but only I knew what would cure him, once and for all.
talk about employee relations, Vance. Harley disappointed me, and now she's out of the picture. Gone. Forgotten. Dead to me. <laughs> you get the idea. What's it like in your organization? Do you punish your hired help when they fail you? Or is that saucy outfit you make him wear punishment enough?
was hidden so well it was almost invisible. My map will help you, Batman. I should pick up Harley Quinn's trail. I can't waste any time in finding the Titan production plant. Is the number up for these guards? Joker's cooking something up, man. Yeah, and it don't smell good. Thank you. Patient interview. Pamela Lillian 
Isley, November 12th, 11.33 a.m. Good morning, Pamela. How are you today? Fine. Today is a special day. What do you mean? This is the anniversary of my new life, when I found my true self, my destiny. Are you referring to the event with Dr. Woodrow? Yes. What else? Of course, at the time, I thought Jason had poisoned me. But in retrospect, he did me a huge favor. And why do you believe what he did has helped you? He showed me the bigger world. A world I should protect. Of course, my first offer was rejected. Offer? You tried to kill everyone in Gotham. Well, sometimes you need to prove that card in order to make something flourish. Time is tea time in Wonderland. You need to stop this now, before it goes too far. Stop! But everyone's dying to see what I do next. Let him go now. Really? Okay, if you say so, that. Whoopsie! No! <laughs> you really need to speed things up, Bats. At this rate, you'll never catch me! I need to shut down power to this room.
Isley, November 14, 10:21 a.m. Hello, Pamela. Today I'd like to go back to something you said in our last conversation. Ask me anything you like. You said your first offer to help Gotham was rejected. How can you possibly believe that? Well, what do you mean? You released thousands of poisonous spores into Gotham, killed hundreds of people. How does that help anybody? I'm not interested in bodies, Doctor. Horrible, fleshy sacks walking around destroying my poor babies with their greed and arrogance. But aren't you one of those fleshy sacks? You're a... were a doctor, too. How can you turn your back on us? Quite easily, as it happens. But not you, Stephen. You're different. I feel we have a connection. Really? You do? Of course. Thanks. Are you okay? I'm fine. I eat punks like these for breakfast. What were they doing in here? The ones that weren't hitting me went over there and started doing something to the power controls. I have no idea what they were doing. Looks like Joker has booby-trapped this control box. This is going to be tougher than before, but it's a risk I'll need to take. generator ahead. Pamela, I got you what you asked for. Do you like it? Oh yes, Stephen, I love it. Such a beautiful flower. Do you mind if I keep it? Oh no, Pamela, I can't leave it. It's against all the rules. I'll just bring it and show it to you when I visit. But it's me, Stephen. I get so lonely on my own. You wouldn't want me to be lonely, would you? No, of course not. Keep it. Just don't let anyone see. Really. No one. You can trust me, Stephen. Thank you. Now give me a kiss. Uh, I can't. People will see you. No one's watching. What's wrong with you? Don't you love me? Call me Ivy. Of course I love you. <laughs> <laughs> 